Yeah, yeah, what's going on, beautiful people? Welcome, welcome back. It's your boy, Blue. I hope you guys have been having a great day, a great week so far. I missed you guys. I uh, haven't streamed in a couple of weeks now, I think. Uh, took me a little bit longer to get started because everything that I was logged into decided to log me out. Oh, a train. A couple trains. <laughs> Sweet. A couple freight trains. You got some... Uh... Got some actual cars being transported there on the left. And we got empties heading back on the right. That is pretty darn cool. What is up, Mr. Bus and Train Guy? Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Monterific Quarter Block. Welcome to the stream. Shamat Robinson. Welcome aboard. Mr. Bus. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome, my friends, to Rosenheim. So this is a Train Sim World 4. And uh, this is a brand new DLC that releases today. I don't know if it's out yet, uh, but it should release any minute. I think it's already out if you're on Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, we're here on the platform waiting for our train, just doing a little bit of train spotting here. Um, we're headed to Salzburg, Austria, though. That's our plan for today. We just gotta wait for our train to show up, and I'm, uh, you can probably guess what the train is if, uh, if, you, if you looked at the thumbnail. But if you haven't seen the thumbnail, then uh, I'll leave it as a surprise. SM Rail Productions, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Fatty Tank, welcome to the stream. Emily, welcome back to the stream. Good to see you, man. What up, Woodrow? Thank you, man. I really appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much. Uh, good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well, bro. Hope you're doing really good. Hope you're staying blessed. This is, I want to check out this train over here at the end. Um, oh, no, there's our train right there. There is our train, the BR. 101 my personal favorite german train to drive why i don't know exactly why i like it so much but i do like it I, I, maybe i like the ice better the really fast high speed ice train it looks kind of similar i was supposed to look at the front of that is the vectron i think this is the vectron in red though that's pretty sweet to see the vectron in red Vectron's a dope train, man. Uh, if you haven't tried it yet, uh, I believe it came with the deluxe edition of Train Sim World 4 when it released. And uh, it's pretty dope. D pretty cool little train, man. Pretty cool. It's mainly used for freight. Uh, we're going to head to the front of Platform 2 and we'll catch our train, which is here on the left. Uh, we have a departure time of 11.07, which is uh, all, just under two minutes away from right now. Hello, my friend RK from India. Welcome aboard, man. Good to see you. Yeah, I like that 101 as well, Tom Sue. I'm doing pretty good, uh, Woodrow. I'm doing pretty good, man. I, I can't complain. Um, I feel like people probably get tired of me saying that, but I really can't, you know? No matter how hard things are or inconvenient or annoying or whatever is going on in life, like, it could be worse, <laughs> you know? So I can't, I can't complain at all. But so this is a, a quick look at Rosenheim um, Station. Pretty nice. Pretty much all outdoor. Let's go ahead and hop in our train before we miss it. Do a quick crew change, and I will take it from here, ma'am. All right, so this is the service we're doing, BR10DB. We have 10 passenger cars on the back, 256 meters long, and we're headed to Salzburg today with just a few stops. So make sure those right side doors are unlocked. We'll hit the U key there. I'm gonna go set up our cameras now. So we're gonna do something a bit, it's not crazy, uh, it's crazy for me. Because uh, if you guys watched my last Train Sim stream, uh, you know we didn't do so well. Uh, we kept running red lights and it was a disaster. Uh, we failed the scenario multiple times. And you know what, I have not learned my lessons. So we're gonna make it even harder. So one thing, I, uh, hold on, so safety system's on. LZB, PZB, CIFA, all the annoying safety systems. We're gonna turn those on. If you're new to train sim world, uh, if you want a very challenging experience when driving a train, uh, drive a German train with the safety systems on. So um, yes, it's quite a challenge, quite a challenge. Door should be shutting. Schließvorgang eingeleitet. 
a lot of stuttering. Is the stream stuttering? Please let me know if it is so we can fix that ASAP. Alright guys, we are past our departure time, so uh, we haven't even got the cab set up or anything. Um, I think it's already good. I think she got it set up for us. Break key's already unlocked. Uh, brake set to 1. Uh, master instrument lights are on. Cab lights are off. Headlights are set to normal. Um, we already turned the safety systems on. Doors are all now locked. Let's go down here. We're going to turn on our... Um, uh, our AFB, which is basically, uh, I call it cruise control, uh, makes it a little bit easier to handle. So do that. Throttle is already, or reverse is already in forward for going forward direction. We'll set our AFB or our cruise control to 40, I think 45, because with the safety systems, we can only go 45 initially, and then we'll go full throttle. Actually, hold on, we got to turn the brakes off. So brakes released. There's the horn. And we'll go ahead and give it all the throttle. And we should start rolling. Dude just walked on my camera. Come on, man. Have some respect for the rail fan. I never noticed the dirt on the bottom of the BR-101. That's kind of cool. That's really dope, actually. All right, so it says not, so it's not stuttering for everyone. That's good. All right, so remember, um, we have safety systems on. So again, normally driving in Train Sim World is a uh, fairly easy, um, in my opinion, right? I mean, it's other than you know missing stations and running red lights, it's fairly easy, in my opinion. Um, and so, if you want a challenge, I recommend. I dare you, actually is turn on the safety systems obviously you have to learn how to use them it's kind of a whole thing but uh, it just basically makes it a bit more difficult and it also makes me feel like i'm actually driving a train legitly so all right so we are now good we can um hit the pcb release there sifa is bugging us and we'll go ahead and go 100 kilometers an hour we're clear to that so look at the map real quick we're departing out of the west side of the map here in rosenheim this is actually in germany and we're going to go all the way to the east side of the map, which will be Salzburg, which is going to be another country, which is Austria. So, it'll be pretty dope. Uh, yet another route that has a border crossing, which is pretty cool. So, one thing we have to watch out for is these yellow signs. Yeah, let's slow down. Uh-oh, is my... Why are we not slowing down? Okay, we are. Cool. Um, so watch out for, for with, the safety, with the safety systems on in the, a German train, um, one of the main things you have to watch out for is speed reductions. So anytime you see like a yellow sign or a yellow number or a yellow light, basically if you see yellow, you have to acknowledge in the cab that you saw it by hitting the button over here, which is the PZB, LZB, acknowledge. It says something in German, I have no idea what it says. Um, uh-oh. Did we already break it? Did we already break it? I think we already broke it. Are you serious? That fast? Yeah, I think we did. Oh, let me reset the throttle here. Yeah, so... <sighs> this is the thing, man, about driving with safety systems. This is kind of annoying, honestly. It's kind of... Like, if you want a relaxing drive in Trains in the World, don't turn safety systems on. Don't. Just don't. Seriously. Um, let me see if we can. Is it gonna? Is it gonna go? Or is it gonna make us stop all the way? See if we're still doing things. So 80 kilometers an hour is the speed limit. Okay, cool. We're good. So, um, okay, let me explain a few things. So, Sifa, which is gonna be yelling at us for the entirety of this drive, it's gonna be annoying. That's just how it is in real life. Um, it's gonna go off randomly every like 60 seconds. I don't even know what the timer is, but like it goes off very often. You'll either see a light here, will light up and say SIFA, or you'll hear it say SIFA, SIFA. And you have to click on the acknowledge uh, button, which is actually usually a pedal. There it is. A uh, pedal down there. You see when I press it, you can hit move. There's a pedal down there that you press with your foot. On the keyboard is actually Q. Uh, and you can also hit, I think, is there a SIFA over here somewhere? I don't know. I always just press the thing. Yeah, I think the pedal is down there, so you have to press a button for it. 
So yeah, so I press the button for it every time it goes off. Uh, again, very annoying, but it is what it is. And then we'll also be watching out for the uh, speed limit signs uh, for, you know, the other stuff. So anyways, we are clear to go 140 kilometers an hour, so let's do just that. Um, the one reason why I don't normally do uh, safety systems on my live streams and a lot of times on my videos for a train sim is because it kind of requires you to stay on the interior view for the majority of your time driving and I don't mind that necessarily when I'm driving on my own and I'm not streaming or recording but when I am streaming or recording I want to show you guys you know all the views and stuff and sadly, look at doing stuff, doing stuff like this can be kind of um, distracting to not see the right signage and various things, right? So, you know, as we're picking up speed now, doing 130 kilometers for 140. We have 12 kilometers until our first stop for today's journey. And I think we'll be heading to Preen Shemisi, whatever that means. Uh, Al Reese, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well, man. Good to see you. UK safety systems are where the easiest to learn and use. It's more intuitive than the confusing PCB. Yes, it is definitely. The UK safety systems are much easier to understand, except for the power changeovers. Those are very confusing, um, the whole procedure for that. But once you learn it, it's actually pretty uh, satisfying to know it. Let's get my favorite view. You're off the nose. Yeah, it's, it's cool. So, um... What do you guys think? Honestly, I, you know, what, what do you, you think? Do you think we can make it the rest of the way? It's about an hour drive um, total. Do you think we can make it? I don't really know if I can make it myself uh, to the end of the route without an emergency stop triggering at some point. What do you think? Do you believe in me? Uh, Silence 24 says Chimesy is one of the biggest lakes in Bavaria. Good to know. I didn't know that. What up, uh, Data? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're uh, having a productive day at work today. Hope it's not too stressful for you. Uh, but I have the weather just set to lay a nice, light, clouded day because uh, I did not want dynamic weather to ruin my views today. There's Sifa again. I'm telling you, man, eventually I'm going to get distracted talking to you guys, reading a chat or something, and completely forget to hit the Sifa key. Uh, am I thinking about doing a driver as a profession? A train driver as a profession? No, honestly, no, I'm not. Uh, I enjoy doing it in the sim. Alright, so 110. We gotta slow down. So we'll set our AFB, which makes it easy is when you set the AFB to the speed you want to go, the train automatically will slow itself down to the speed limit that you've requested. Now we saw that yellow sign. I hit the acknowledge button. I don't think I needed to because we're. Uh, I think you only need to hit it when going fast or when just when slowing less than eighty. I think, but I do it anyways just in case. Um, but it's just warning us as a one hundred and ten mile per hour limit coming up, which is right there, which is that one one. And you should see now on the top of our HUD, it says that the speed limit is one ten. So have a bit of a curve going here. And honestly, this is the part of the route that catches me every freaking time. I'm telling you, I I have actually, I've had this DLC for a few days. I've been driving it, and I have not, listen, listen, I have not finished. I have not completed this route yet. I'm embarrassed to say that, and I'm also annoyed to say that, but I have not completed this full route yet. I've had the time to do so, I have attempted to do so, and every single time I get stopped by an emergency stop on, you know, on some safety thing, and I get annoyed and I rage quit. So hopefully this will be my first time completing a full run uh, in this route. It's not hard. Uh, yes, it's the DB101, Seth and Fish. Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome aboard. Uh, is Formation Designer released? Yes, it is. It was released uh, what, uh, a few weeks ago, a month ago. It was released back during, uh, what was that event we just had? Rail, rail something fest? Uh, so it's out now. If you have PC, it is not out yet uh, if you're on console. So sadly, you do not get access to it if you're on console. But uh, they did do a, uh, um, there was a hotfix last night 
uh, for Train Sim World 4 as a whole. And there was some fixes for the uh, formation design. I didn't read too deeply into it. Uh, nothing really stood out to me. But they did do some fixes on it back uh, last night. So we'll see. I haven't tried it. Um, I, did I actually do it? Have I done a video about formation designer? I don't think I have. Um, I know that I created, if you guys remind me at the end of today's video or stream, uh, remind me and I'll go back to the main menu and I'll show you all the different stuff you can drive with this, uh, this DLC. Here's a, see that yellow tin? You gotta acknowledge that. We're gonna acknowledge that and we're gonna slow down to 100 kilometers, so moving the AFB handle back, the cruise control handle back to 100, the train will automatically slow itself down to 100, and uh, we'll meet that next speed restriction. Again, this is a part of the route that I, I tend to fail on. Here's another train coming the other way. There he goes. And we have a 10 right there, that's not bad. We'll acknowledge that as well. So that's really all you gotta do. You just, any, anytime you see a speed reduction, um, you just need to acknowledge it with the PCB acknowledge key or button and make sure that you are at the correct speed and you're good, um, which is easier said than done, but that's that's the way it works. We'll be passing by a station here as we come by the right. Let's do a quick drive by if we can before uh, Sifa catches us again. Zifa. Yeah, formation designer is great. Like, I think you guys on the Xbox will love it. There's so many things. Oh, another train. <laughs> Hello. A lot of freight going on today's route. We saw two freight trains when departing out of Ross 9. And uh, there's another one there. Lots of freight traffic today. I, I think we can speed up to, to, to 110 now again. And might stay there for a little while. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I think I think you guys will like like the formation design. I like it a lot. Uh, I have not I have not like built a scenario with it yet. Um, but I did build a I think like a hundred. It's a hundred plus freight car formation I built in formation designer. Um, it actually crashed the sim a few times trying to make it. And I found some loopholes to make it work because technically it will only allow you to get a hundred, a uh, hundred car uh, consist in the formation designer. But I found a way to get around that. Um, now you get around it at your own risk at crashing the game because it definitely there's a reason why they limit us to a hundred <laughs> in the consist. Uh, sorry, in the formation designer um, because there is a high risk for crashing. Uh, if you go beyond that, but I'm like screw it like I got a, a freaking NASA computer. Let's try it. So um, Yeah, but I, if, if you guys remind me cuz I'm letting you know I will forget But if you remind me I will uh, go back into the main menu I'll show you what comes with this DLC and I'll show you what I've created so far in the formation designer uh, Which isn't much again. I just I made one long freaking I think uh, was it BNSF I think BNSF train might be Union Pacific. I can't remember but I basically tried to create a real uh, train consist that I know exists uh, based on a real world uh, train that drives uh, on the home pass, I believe. Uh, Patrick, what's up, my friend? Hello from Italy. Welcome to the stream, man. Ciao, ciao. Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're doing good. Uh, what do I think about the upcoming San Bernardino route? Um, I don't know much about it. Uh, it was a surprise to me. Um, you know, here, here's the thing. You know, I have to be honest with you guys. It doesn't matter if I'm a uh, dovetail train sim ambassador, whatever. I'm always have to be honest with you guys about how I feel about DLC, about decisions that they make, and things like that. And I think that you guys respect that, and I think that they respect that. Um, they never tell me that I have to say good things about the sim. Um, they never tell me I have to say anything about the sim. So my thoughts on the San Bernardino route that has been announced uh, for Train Sim World Four um, is, first of all, I think it was much needed. Right? It. It's the connection point between Cajon Pass and the Antelope Valley. So it's like an obvious, it's an obvious connection. I think it's great. I, I love the idea. Um, and I think that that section is a really interesting section too. Now, what I don't like is, uh, 
is that they're not connected. Like, does that make sense? Like, that is the one thing that bothers me. It's like, okay, that's cool. We have the three parts of the route, but what's not cool is that I have to exit to the main menu and then switch routes to continue my journey on the next section of the track. Um, and that bothers me a lot. Um, imagine if you were in American Truck Simulator or in Euro Truck Simulator and you're driving out of the UK and you hop on the ferry, right, to get to freaking Dutchland or whatever. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> the next part. Was it France, I guess? Um, and instead of you just hopping on the ferry, there's a loading screen and you pop up in, uh, in France. Or a better example is you're driving from Germany to Austria like we're doing right now. And these are two different DLCs. Uh, and between, you're like, all right, well, you drive to the end of the route. You park your truck there. You exit to the main menu. You load back into the Austrian part of the DLC you have. Oh crap, we gotta stop. Oh my god, I was not paying attention. Can we stop that fast? I don't think we can stop that fast. I do not think we can stop that fast. Yep, we missed it. Oh, there's a lot of platform here. Oops. You got, you see, you got, you, I, I blame chat. You guys really got me, you got me triggered on that question. <laughs> you got me triggered. Oh, no, question. I think we might just be in there enough to make it count. Yep, that'll do. Just everybody move to the back. Everybody move to the back. Oh, man. We got to do better. <laughs> oh, look at the mountains, though. That's pretty sweet. That actually looks pretty nice. That looks really good. That looks really good. Those are the uh, Austrian Alps out there, I believe. To the south of us. Why does it still say unlocked doors? The doors are unlocked. Oh shoot. No, 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 no. We might be okay to leave. Let's see. I'll unlock them again. But uh, anyway, so yes, if imagine you have to reload. That's, that's the only thing I don't like. Um, I love the, the idea. I love having a new route in the US. Um, I, just, I just don't like, are the doors open or not? I don't like that we're gonna have to drive them separately. Uh, I would like, I mean, most people, did I break it? Was there a time where depart, oh, living, did I break it? Can we go? It still says unlock doors. I don't know, guys. The doors are open. I'm gonna lock them again, see what happens. Okay. okay, it didn't say to lock the- Oh, look at that train! Oh, that's sick, hold on. <laughs> and skirt. That is cool. I haven't seen that livery. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, break, I'm surprised. I'm surprised we stopped this much. I thought we were gonna completely miss the station. All right, I think everything is set up. Um, AFB is still set to what it was. I'm just gonna reset the throttle and then try it again to see if that works like that. Yeah, we should be able to go back up to 130. 130 set. We'll get a drive-by of us rolling off as well. High in the signal. There's the horn for chat. And again, guys, we are in, uh, this is the new Rosenheim Salzburg route for Train Sim World 4. And we are headed east, southeast or eastbound to Salzburg, Austria with 10 passenger cars here on the BR-101. Now this train does not come, uh, I don't think this train comes with the the, uh, the DLC. This this, is, this comes from a different route, um, an older German route that was on Train Sim World 3, I wanna say, maybe even Train Sim World 2. Um, but it's always become like a favorite of mine, so I've been, I drive it all the time. 
But we're back in route, headed back up to our speed of 130. We got a 110 coming up, so we can watch out for a, uh, a sign. But yeah, so honestly, this route doesn't have a ton of mountains. So if you're expect, like when I saw that this route was like in Austria or going to Austria, I was expecting it to be like a very mountainous route. Why? Why are we stopping? Well, guys, that sucks. Anybody know what he's saying? Come on, don't stop all the way. I want to keep going. Okay. Maybe I didn't hit Sifa fast enough? Alright, we're speeding up again. <sighs> oh, we do have a 110, so let's go down to 110. I think it's it's picky, man. What is up, Hampus? Welcome to the stream. See if uh, emergency breaks. What you heard? What's up, John? West Texas. Welcome back. Good to see you as well, man. Yeah. So as I was saying, um, I was expecting it to be a bit more mountains. But if you look at the map of where this uh, route is located, it's actually just to the north of the Alps. Uh, and so you kind of see the mountains off in the distance, which is cool. You can kind of see, you can see the, the peaks out there because the mountains are massive, you know what I mean? But they're way out there to the south of us, which is on our right. But it still looks pretty cool. Yeah, those mountains are miles and miles and miles away. The closest we'll get to them, I think, is going to actually be in Salzburg itself. Alright, how far are we from our next stop? 21 kilometers? Alright, so we got some time. <laughs> I that, that last stop completely caught me off guard. I was not expecting a, uh, a stop. I was just completely in my own world, zoned out, thinking about stuff. So anyways, I don't think I ever finished my thought. So yes, this route is not as mountainous as you may expect it to be. There are mountains in the, in the distance. Um, but it's not like in the mountains, if that's what you're expecting. Um, it's not that type of Austrian route. Now, back to San Bernardino. Um, my issue is that they're not connected, right? They didn't extend Cajon Pass. They didn't extend Antelope Valley, kind of like how they did uh, Southwest High Speed, was that what it's called? Um, so it's three separate routes that you have to run separately that are all connected. Um, so that's my that's my problem uh, with it. But I'm still gonna drive it. Um, I hope it's good. I hope the trains are good. Uh, I didn't see any talk about freight. That is um, a big question of mine: is how much freight is there gonna be? The BR101 was an addition in TSW2 for Habstrika Rheinra Duisburg Markham. All right, cool. Thank you. I was wondering where it was coming from. Uh, PK Brian, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. I think it would be cool if they did a Florida route. There's so much uh, freight and passenger services in Florida. It just makes sense. I'm surprised we don't have one already. So let's see if we can get us a drive by before we get too fast. And catch any more speed limits. But um, but yeah, the route's okay. It's not. I don't think it's gonna be one of my favorites. Uh, but there is a lot to do. There's a lot of uh, diversity. That's one thing I do like about this route is there is a lot of uh, a lot of things to do. A lot of freight traffic, a lot of passenger traffic, and uh, that's the kind of routes that I personally enjoy when it comes to um, these kind of routes. I was personally very excited when I found out the BR101 was on here, or the DB101. Because I really wasn't that interested in the other trains that are included in the pack. Um, that The one that comes with the route, which I think is like the DB111 or BR111, whatever, something 111. Um, I just wasn't that interested in that train, personally. Um, but I'm more interested in this one, so that's why we're driving it. That's the same too, man. I was waiting for them to say, we're adding the San Bernardino line and we're gonna extend or connect 
Antelope Valley and Cajon Pass and give you a six hour route. Cause that's what it would be. Cause Cajon Pass by itself takes you about two to, was it four hours? Three to four hours to run in a freight train. And then the San Bernardino section is gonna take you at least another hour, hour and a half. I'm not sure how long that one's gonna take. That one's not gonna be very mountainous, I don't think. It's gonna be mainly going through the uh, outskirts of LA. Um, and then Antelope Valley takes another two hours to run. So that's two, five. Yeah, that's a lot of track to run. Now, most people are not going to run that long of a distance in one sitting. Um, that's for sure. I know I, I, mo I won't. <laughs> it's funny because we're asking for a long six-hour route, basically. But most of us won't even run six hours in one sitting. Um, but in that case, there has to be some other way around that, right? Like, how would you... Can I save... Um, mid drive, um, that will be very important for longer routes like that. All right, we can do 140 now. That will be important to be able to save your progress in the middle, um, to be able to have the AI traffic as well, to be able to run from one side of the route to the other, so you're not just seeing you know trains disappear in between. So I, there's definitely a lot of technical technical things that they would have to do to make that work. But um, but yeah, it'd be it'd be it'd be nice. It would be nice. Maybe someday. I don't know if we'll ever. I don't know if we'll ever see the day when Train Sim World um, connects existing routes. Uh, they've extended some, and I've, I've I've liked that. But I don't know. That's cool. What up, Starly? Good old Austria. How you doing, man? You still live in Austria? Or did you did you abandon it? You still out there in Austria? No, no, they. I don't. I. I'd never heard them say they were connecting the three routes. I never heard that. All right, down to one thirty kilometers an hour. There's a warning sign behind us, and we are kind of right, almost smack dab in the middle of the route. We only have, let's see, how many stops do we have? We have one, two, three, yes, yeah, so we have four stops, sorry, along this route. No. Bro, I hit the button. This is stupid. <laughs> Freaking, I hate Sifa. I absolutely hate Sifa. It's so annoying. Uh, CPK97, how's the new PC build treating me? It's been treating me great, man. I've had it, uh, it's actually been, it's a year now I've had it. I built it uh, February of last year. So it's been a year now that I've had it. It's, uh, it's been treating me great, man. The only thing um, that needs fixing is uh, I broke the front panel, gla the front glass panel of the PC. I was trying to clean it. Uh, I think I was doing my butt kicker video. And um, I was trying to clean it because I need to install a new sound card for that. And the front glass panel just just fell over. It wasn't like far drop. It was like sitting on the ground already and it just like fell over and just shattered. So um, I haven't fixed that. That's been a few months now. Uh, I'm starting to get to the point where I feel like I need to fix it because um, it's getting much dustier, much faster. I don't think it's having a problem cooling itself because it is getting the extra air from the house into the PC. But um, I, I do believe that it's getting much dustier because that panel is not there. Uh, I also have dogs, and one of my dogs is shedding like crazy right now. So um, there's dog hair everywhere, and I hate it. <laughs> I do not like dog hair. I've been vacuuming multiple times a week. You did, yeah, you did the same thing with your Leon Lee? It's easy, man. It's so easy to break that glass. Uh, I actually went to Micro Center a couple weekends ago, and I was asking if they happened to have an extra one, you know, um, but they did not. Right, that's a 90. Slowing down. It's 
So 90 kilometers are coming up here soon after the next station. We will not be stopping at this station. Be uh, stopping again 6.9er kilometers out. Um, but yeah, I need to. I think what I'm going to have to do, what they recommended that I do, is um, go on the uh, the uh, Leon Lee website or contact them and ask for a placement. I don't know how much that's going to cost. It's only this, it's the smallest glass pa panel. I only have two of them. It's the smallest one, so I can't imagine that costing that much. But you just never know when it comes to this PC stuff. All right, rolling through the next station. I'm not sure what station that is. But uh, just question real quick. What do you guys think, chat? I'm curious what you guys think. What do you think about the scenery uh, along this route so far? It's it's uh, I have it set to like March, which is like late winter, early spring. So the trees are not completely green. They're kind of like, you know, they're still like the, the leaves are still kind of dead. But what do you think so far? I mean, it's it's good. They got some good ground clutter. You got the. Uh, I really like these uh, this fence right here that's going along. I really like that. Got the grass down there, the foliage. I don't see an issue. I think they're doing a good job with the foliage and all that. But again, it's not super mountainous. It's, not, it's a little hilly. Not that hilly. Uh, as far as difficulty, it's not difficult to drive. Uh, there are multiple stations along the route to stop at. Uh, we're not stopping at all of them today, but... There are multiples. Decent amount of traffic. And we are 4.4 out. There it is. Starley says it does remind him of his home country. So that's a good sign. We're actually not even in Austria yet, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we're in Austria yet. I'm not sure where the border is. You know, it does kind of remind you of the valley in Oregon. You're right about that. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's uh doesn't blow me away, but it is definitely uh it feels like it's it's accurate to the area, to the region. Um, personally, when it comes to roots like these, I I particularly like the roots to have the trees closer to the trees and foliage closer to the tracks. Kind of like this. Like this is not super tight, but it's tight. There's a little farm there on the left. Nothing in it right now. I like the foliage being close to the tracks. So I don't know. This makes it gives you a sense of speed. Um, I, just, I just, I just like it. How are we doing? We are. Uh, yeah, I think we're behind schedule. We're thirty seconds away, and we're two point five out. Uh, if I didn't like the UK and other countries' train system world, would you still buy it? No. Honestly, no, I would not. Alright, we gotta slow down. We got a 60 hertz thingy down to 60. See if we can hopefully we'll hit that in time. You see that countdown on the top right of our screen? It's telling us how fat how slow we need to be. If we don't acknowledge those, the train will go into an emergency stop. Alright, there's 60. That's what we need to be yet. That should be as slow as it gets unless I, I blew by it. Alright, good, 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 good. <laughs> we still got the 1000 hertz and SIFA. We can't go any faster than 70 kilometers right now. Or else we'll get an emergency stop activated. Uh, will I make a video of uh, Rosenheim Salzburg? Probably not. Um, this this live stream is going to replace a video for this route for me, at least for now. I may make a video later down the road, um, but this is going to be my video for this week.
for um for this route. All right, guys, we're approaching Tronstein. That's another thing that this route is missing, and I don't know if it actually has it in real life on a trains like this, but um, the uh, what was that other route we just had? Is it Austria? The, the last route they just came out that had all the announcements. It doesn't have that. All the announcements, I, I miss that. I love, I love that so much. All right, let's go ahead and kill the throttle. And we're going to slow down for our stop here at the station. And there's another train approaching as well. We are about a minute and a half behind schedule. I'm okay with that, though. I'm not too picky on schedule today. I think that might be the train right there that comes with the route. If it is, uh, we'll hop out and I'll show it to you guys. I don't know what this guy is saying to me. All right, full service brings to the end of the platform. And there it is. Open up the right side doors. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, hop into the free cam. And, oh, that's, is that it? Yeah, that is it. So this is the other train, the uh, DB111. That, um, this is the one, like the main train that comes with this route. Um, I think it is electric. It, I don't know. I don't really personally know much about it. Uh, I know that Dovetail did their own preview live stream of it, and you can learn a lot from them, uh, as well as multiple other um, train sim YouTubers have also been streaming it and uh, making videos. So definitely support those guys and check out those videos if you're interested in that train. All right, we're done here, though. Quick little stop or at least the brakes. Full throttle. We should start moving. I missed something. Next stop is going to be Frylessing. All right, what's the problem? What is the problem? Did that. All right, there we go. I guess I have to acknowledge something. I don't really know. Uh, we should be good. It's not flashing 7085. So we should be clear to go up to 60 on the rollout. And we'll get us a drive-by. From this side. Uh, when is my next Microsoft Flight Sim video? Uh, probably next week. I may do a live stream for Microsoft Flight Sim this week, but for video, probably maybe next week if I can get it done in time. Because I'll be recording this week for next week, and I have plans to record some flight sim stuff. All right, 70 kilometers, speeding up. Next stop, Farila Singh. This should be our second to last stop before we get to Salzburg, Austria. Thank you so much, Jamie, for the subscription. Welcome. To the blue team, my friend, you get two honks. Welcome aboard. Hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome aboard this DB101. <laughs> Service to Salzburg. Uh, yes, I'm still doing the virtual airlines. Absolutely. We're going to keep that series going. I've been enjoying it and I've uh, been getting good feedback on it. Hopefully, you guys have been liking it. Uh, do I read? Yes, I do, Gabriel. Um, I learned to read back, like, I'm not sure how old I was when I learned to read. A long time ago. I'm not so good at math, but I'm pretty good at reading. <laughs> what up, Sam? Walk to the stream. Uh, Phoenix Block 2 is coming tomorrow. Is it, Mikey? Where, where'd you get that information from? Send me the link, bro. Because uh, I've been waiting for the new Phoenix 320 to drop. I thought it was going to come out like two weeks ago when they dropped the video. And we, I have been honestly impatiently waiting <laughs> for it. Like, I can't wait. I'm so sick of waiting for stuff. Oh, man, I'm so tired of these game developers and add-on developers and flight sim developers teasing us with products that we can't use for another year. It's so annoying. 
so yeah like don't even tell me about it if it's not ready I appreciate that Jamie what's up Latyrus from Chicago welcome to the stream hope you're doing good Chicago is another good place in the states that uh, that could see some love from Train Sim World, um, specifically for freight. I think they have some passenger services out there as well. Um, but I know they have a l big freight hub that goes to Chicago. Like Chicago is like one of the main freight hubs in the U.S. actually uh, for trains. So There's a massive train yard out there. Uh, what is the name of the salty mod you have for the Triple Seven Captain Sim? It's just called uh, Salty Mod Compatibility. Right, there's 111, slow down. Or 110, I should say, 110. We got a speed limit change coming up. So we're now beyond the halfway point of the route. We got a little bit of a wiggly part that we just went through. Some S turns and whatnot. And it's uh, our next up beat over there. Doing pretty good so far. I probably just jinxed it. <laughs> But we're doing pretty good so far. We're running the route with the safety systems on, which has always been a challenge for me. Uh, you have to really pay very close attention to all of the actual signals and signage along the route, or else uh, the train will automatically activate an emergency stop, and that's just super annoying. Like, you can't even like override it. It just you're stopping whether you want to or not, and then once you stop, you can figure your life out and try it again. Like that's how it is. Uh, but to answer your question, uh, the Salty Mod for the Triple Seven, uh, there should be a mod on FlightSim.to. Um, I'm not sure if it's still there. I actually personally stopped using the Captain Sim and the Salty Mod a while ago because I was having some pretty bad issues with it. Um, Microsoft Flight Sim itself updated and it broke some stuff, and I just didn't have the patience to fix it. Or because like I, I hate having to go and mod everything. It's the same thing with Train Sim. It's like you want, uh, you want a product to come out that works good out of the box you don't want to have to modify it and change all these files because as soon as the game updates it breaks it and so at one point in Microsoft Flight Sim there was a, something that broke my 777 mod and I just decided I'm not gonna fix it I'm just gonna fly other stuff so just look up salty compatibility mod for the 777 there should be it should still, it still exist there should also be some sound mods and stuff like that you can get as well. Here comes another freight train on the left side. Nice. Containers in the back. So out of here, they don't stack containers like we do in the States. And the States will stack them too high, you know. Uh, out here, you only see the one. And as crazy as ours are stacked too high, and miles long <laughs> out here is just like these short trains uh which is interesting all right still 110 speed limit we'll be late but it's okay yeah i would not recommend buying the captain sim triple seven i think that we've gotten close enough to the triple seven from pmdg that you should just wait i know it's hard to say that you really want to fly that plane but just wait for PMDG to release theirs, I think it's gonna be worth the wait. I don't have it yet. I haven't tried it. I just, I mean, you've seen the PMDG 737, and if it's equal to that, it's worth the wait. All right, we got a 100 coming up. Man, a lot of freight on this route. I'm realizing, holy crap, that's a second freight train in just a few minutes. So if you're a freight kind of guy, at least German freight, um, you can have a lot of action on uh, this route. I think it's mainly like end to end. I don't know if they have any like industry stops or switching. I think they, there is a switching train along this route. All right, there's the 10. We we'll acknowledge it. And we guess we'll drive by. Let's go over here. Next to the tractors. I think the reason why I like the BR-101 is because I like the actual passenger cars. Because it's like the ICE style passenger cars with the, uh, the red German uh, engine in the front. I think that's why I like it. 
Sadly, there is no ICE service on this route, but we could make one. We could make one. You know, that's a good, that's a good, we could make one. I don't know if it runs in real life, but we could use the, um, I might actually try that. We could use the, the, the free roam thingy and spawn a train in. We could spawn an ICE train in here and run that down the route. That could be pretty fun. We'll see what we look at like on time. Cause I didn't have, I didn't have plans for a second run today. So depending on how much time we spend getting out there, if we make it out there in our first attempt, uh, we may try to um, spawn an ICE train and run back down the route and see how that works out for us. I'm not sure how much faster we'll be able to go though because the speed limits, the highest speed limit I've seen on the route has been 140 so far. So I'm not sure if we can even go any faster than that, legally. But, screenshot, we have not gotten a screenshot yet in this stream. Let's go ahead and zoom out. We'll get us a nice tight field of view. Oh, I love this train. Oh, look at that shot. I wish this pole wasn't in the way though. We'll just have to angle it in the way that we can't see the pole. Or we can leave the pole. We'll keep the pole in the shot, why not? On the edge. Yeah, I can dig that right there. I can dig that right there. Save and upload. I don't know where this uploads to, <laughs> but I know it saves it on my drive and I can use it for later. That's all I know. That's it. It's taking a little longer than it used to. It used to be like really quick. Now it takes a bit longer to save and upload than it used to. Are you done? But again, I say this every time, but one of my favorite features in Train Sim World is, is the, the ability to do just this. Um, sorry, TikTok, I just realized that I do not have your, your uh, chat up on the screen. Let me uh, pop this out so I can see what you guys are saying. So if you guys have been watching along on TikTok uh, up to this point, I do apologize. I haven't been responding to your comments. But uh, go ahead and feel free to drop them in the chat now. And I just give you guys a quick shout out because now I can see it. <laughs> All right, let's hop out. And continue again next stop frylessing and that's in about 13 clicks 13 kilometers out uh what's up k bus welcome to the stream gr gramps oh look at that vectron double vectron that's a double vectron that was sick i don't see that often you don't see that often that was pretty dope uh it does run really smooth actually that's a good good observation um have you guys seen any stutters? That's actually a really good equip. Like, I'm gonna pay more attention now. Because one big issue I tend to get in Trains in World is I'll get stutters every once in a while. And you know, I have not noticed any. Usually they're distracting enough that I would have noticed it. So I'm gonna leave it on this view. Because this view, you cannot ignore the stutters. Yep, there's one right there. <laughs> I just saw one. So they're, they're still there. They're still there. Uh, definitely high frame rate, but we are getting a few stutters here and there. That's for sure. <laughs> I saw it, K-Bus. I saw it. I saw it. But yeah, we're just, I'm seeing a lot of freight. I've seen more freight trains run by us than anything else since we've been out here on the railroad. But pretty cool route. If uh, if you like German trains or German routes, uh, in my opinion, this is a must-have. Uh, this is probably a perfect route to add to your German train collection. Uh, if German routes are not your thing. It might not be your thing. <laughs> And we're getting a peek at the mountains again out there on the right hand side, kind of behind the fog of the haze. Yeah, we are getting a few, we are we are getting a few stutters. Oh, there's another freight train rolling by. A long one. Longish. 
Dang, a lot of freight. I have never noticed how much freight was on. Well, I did say earlier I've never actually completed a whole run, but um, a lot of freight here on the on the second half of the route towards the uh, towards Austria, heading out of Austria, I should say. I kind of wonder what kind of industries do they have out here coming out of um, out of Austria. I am curious. I saw mostly manifest mixed freight stuff. That I've been seeing mostly so far. A few like oil tankers and whatnot. But I don't know. You guys, you guys have to educate me. You guys know more about this region than I do. Uh, you think the vegetation may be causing the stuttering? So what I've heard, um, what Dovetail has explained to us in the past, the reason why we see stuttering is, I believe, because the scenery is loading in the distance, like in the direction that we're going. Like as we head eastbound, like all this scenery over here is not loaded the entire time we're driving. It's like slowly loading in the next block of scenery, the next block of scenery. And every time it does that, it freezes your entire game. Um, and I'm like, there's got to be a smoother, easy way to do that. There's the mountains over on the right a little bit. And so, because here's the thing, I, I have a 4090, all right? Um, I have a, a, a freaking crazy good PC, and I still get stutters. The same stutters that you get. Maybe maybe less frequent, but I still get them. Um, and when I was testing this new PC, which is no longer new, it's a year old, but when I was testing this PC a year ago, and I got in the train some world, uh, I turned my graphic settings to the lowest setting possible. Like, all vegetation was basically off, my draw distance was basically right in my face, and I still got the stutters Specifically, you mainly get them when you're going fast, like about about this fast and faster. Like if you're doing freight, if you're doing shunting, if you're doing like local, like regional service, you're doing like really slow speeds. You may not notice it. It may not happen as much. But when you're doing high speed driving, like an ICE, the uh, Sela stuff like that, it's very prominent because you're going so fast. But even with low settings, I was still getting the stutters. And I was like, what is going on? Um, and I've never been able to fix it. It's just it's just a part of Drain Sim World, at least on PC. I don't know if you guys get this on Xbox. Uh-oh, my audio just spooked. Hold on. <laughs> All right, check, check. I'm not sure if you guys even heard that or not, but yeah, that was bad. All right, so this is the tricky part. Coming up the front listing here, 4.1 kilometers out, we're gonna have a, 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 a extreme uh, speed drop. And this is where we can get caught up on the safety system very easily. If you look on the top right of our screen, if you're watching on, on YouTube, you can see that we have a 60, a 50, a 80 kilometer, a 40 kilometer an hour coming up. So we should see some kind of sign up ahead warning us to slow down so i got my hand on the afb i got my hand on the acknowledgement oh crap and i <laughs> i was so hyper focused on the speed limit i forgot the sifa all right there it is right there actually so yellow signal we'll hit sick and we'll start slowing down um a lot <laughs> down to 85 i think is what it wants i'm actually gonna redo our throttle here because we're still getting slowed down by Sifa. There we go. And we need to get down below 85 uh, kilometers an hour. Which we already are, so we're good there. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> There's a lot freaking going on right now. Alright. What's our next speed drop? Yeah, we're late. Yep, yeah, another BR-101. Hey, all right, another yellow. So just telling us it's supposed to be under 85, which we already are. I'm gonna get down to 60. 
We have a 60 coming up. There's 90. That's that 9 means 90. Look at that turntable. Crap. Missed it. There's a turntable back there. All right, we're. I didn't realize that this. Uh, oh, 40. We have a 40 coming too. We're switching tracks. I didn't realize that this uh, station was so big. Here in Frelissing. All right, you can see got some uh, trains sitting over there. Just hanging out on the left. There's a, there's a train from the, um, what route was that? There's another route, I think it's Austrian. All right, let's get stopped here. The OBB train. I think this is as far as that one goes. This guy's just yelling all kind of stuff at me. I don't know. I don't know what any of it means. We're about two minutes late. I just want to get to the end of the platform. I think it's stopping me here. I think it is. I hear you. Come right past this yellow. We do have to acknowledge it. And we'll stop. That's close enough. Whew, all right, we made it this far. Get those doors open. Sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Frylessing. Oh, you having trouble there, ma'am? <laughs> she, she figured it out, I guess. She figured it out. Yeah, so we got, let's see, we got over here. We have this OBB guy hanging out. He's probably waiting to depart. That's one of the, uh, the trains that comes with Train Sim World 4 with the complete edition. And then here is, oh, here's the little shunter. I think this, I want to, uh, don't quote me on this, but I, I, I think this shunter, a version of this, Comes with the route. I think it does. Here is a uh, what is that? One eight five. We got that guy over there. And oh, look at this! They got two trains sitting here on this uh, track. That's interesting. I wonder if that's static, or if that's actually going to go somewhere later. We got another one of these guys in red. And that one's turned on. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of um, a lot of your a lot of your other German DLC uh, can be layered on top of this. Uh, is there any co-op or multiplayer on this? Sadly, no, man. Sadly, no. I, I keep asking for it. People keep telling me, "What's the point of multiplayer and training somewhere?" I'm just telling you. If we had it, you would understand. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Fifty is our limit. Set the fifty there. I should start rolling here any second. We'll do another drive-by. Roll out of the platform. But yeah, Sally, no multiplayer, no co op. Sweet. I don't know why, but I like big stations like that to have a ton of tracks on them. Like that right there. Like, I don't know why I like it. <laughs> it just, it's really interesting. All right, that means 80 on the right, which is where we're going. And then we have 5.3 kilometers to make it over to our final stop of Salzburg, Austria. Now, I'm not sure what that thing means. Is that border crossing? At some point, we're supposed to cross into Austria. That might have been it. I don't know. I'm not sure there's like a sign saying, welcome to Austria. I don't know if that's the thing. Probably not. Uh, I am on YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok right now. Yeah, I think that's gotta be like a board. I've never seen that sign before. 
That's gotta be border. Oh yeah, this is definitely gotta be the border. Has to be the border. That's pretty cool. I got, yeah, there's definitely traffic on this route. I'm liking that. And there's uh, another freight train sitting there waiting for something. You can hear them turned on. We got oh, we got a lot of logging over here. Got some logging operations happening over here on the right. I have not seen a logging train though. I wonder if there's a logging train that runs out of here. Uh, AFB is set to 80 kilometers. Our cruise control is set to 80 kilometers. Oh, there we go. Look at this massive. Look at this. This is kind of cool. What's going on here? What are you guys doing here? So are they putting the logs in the containers? Is that how they ship them? That could be. That sounds about right. Maybe they're processing them here. Turning it into like paper or you know all the various things that woods can be processed into and then transporting it Oh look some people over there Yeah, it's, this is my first time seeing this again. I I mentioned it earlier in the stream that I have uh, Failed to complete the entire route. So I have not seen it all I haven't run into this part. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, be is it animated? Zifa. Zifa. No, it's not animated It's all static I do like that though. A lot of times in the past, and you can tell the dovetail and, and the team were making an effort, because uh, a lot of times in the past you see big yards like that that are just freaking empty, right? It's like you know one freight car <laughs> or something. Oh look at that, another uh, Vectron. I'm loving these different liveries that apparently I downloaded from the Vectron. Um, but yeah, in the past, you'd see like a big freight yard and there's like nothing in it. It looks dead. So it's nice to see that they actually put a bunch of stuff there. Why are we still only going 48? It should be speeding up. Let me reset the throttle here. Sometimes you got to reset the throttle. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't live stream those uh, Aero Mexico flights. At least not yet. Maybe uh, later I may do one of the shorter Aero Mexico flights. Another freight train with uh, empties on the back. But uh, yeah, my re my current schedule for Aero Mexico is all very long flights. I got a flight from JFK, which is five hours. I have a flight from uh, flight to Paris. From Mexico City, which is, I have no idea how long that's going to be, like 10 hours maybe. It's long. <laughs> it's real long. Alright, how, how far out are we? We are very close. 2.2. Oh, let's get slowed down. Let's get slowed down. Let's get slowed down. Let's get slowed down. Slow down. Well, red signal coming up. Bro, we're freaking hauling. There's no way we're going to stop in time. Right, there is that, so it wants us to slow down. Are we stopping here? No, we're not stopping here. So down to 85. And we're doing that. That's good. A lot of a lot more stations on this side. You can actually tell. I can tell we're definitely in a new country now. It's like based off of kind of the feeling, the scenery, the the, the way they do their railroad. They have like these big blinders and blockers here which the other cities back in Germany didn't have. I have a red signal right here. Holy crap, why are we stopping? Why are we stopping? No, no! You guys are cursing me, man. I'm telling you, you guys are freaking cursing me, man. Every time I stream Train Sim World, I freaking run through a red light. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, are you serious? I thought that red was a lot farther away. I thought that the yellow was for a slowdown ahead, not a stop.
That sucks. Load last checkpoint. Let's see how far back that takes us. Uh, we were so close, bro. We were two kilometers away. We were two kilometers away. Okay, where are we at? We're here. I don't even know if this is... Is this even going to count? Is everything still on? Yeah, everything's still on. I don't think this is going to count. We'll try, though. We'll see. We'll try. All right. Uh, brakes for like full service. All right. We'll turn that off. Brake key is unlocked. Reversers in four. A and B is on. I can't believe that, man. All right. Let's see if we can go. Let's see if we can go. Nope. It's not doing anything. Breaks are released. What am I missing? I'm missing. Let's reset AFB. Not getting anything. AFB. Right, that's back on. AFB. We can go 50. We should see this guy move. There it is. He's moving now. Ah. <sighs> I was so upset. <laughs> oh man. That's ah, I'm so upset. We were so close. Like finishing it now is gonna be cool. Like I'm doing this for you guys. But it's, I'm not gonna get the same satisfaction as running the whole thing clean. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna personally get the same satisfaction. As if, as, as if I had ran it from end to end clean. The whole load checkpoint thing, that's not going to do it for me. But we're going to finish it for the video. <laughs> for the stream, for the chat. Oh, uh, I, I agree. I hate that they make you restart the whole thing for running a stupid red light. Jeff, you do it as well? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Mateo. I'm sorry, David. <laughs> Alright, let's speed up. So close. Alright, so, I know now that I'm pretty confident this is the border. <laughs> you can see just how different everything looks from one side to the other. Very slight difference, but you can tell it's just it's it's different. It's different. It's definitely different. Definitely different. Uh, Freilassing is on the border of Austria. Okay, thank you. So I guess we were already in. Or no, I think that was the border. I think that that river was the border. Uh, between the two countries. Alright, I'm gonna get a drive-by over here. Maybe that'll make me feel better <laughs> about what just happened. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm at, I gotta let it go, but right now I'm upset. Alright, here's the construction. Is this a new station, or what's going on here? Salzburg Lifering. I'm not sure what that means. I like how they put freaking, like, you know, the names of places and everything else is in a different language. Like, how was I supposed to know what that mean? What that meant? All right, one twenty. Yeah, true. I tell you, man, the construction workers don't be doing nothing. Y'all don't be doing nothing. Y'all be just chilling, drinking beer, hanging out, <laughs> hanging around. Alright, we get to see the Vectron again. Maybe a closer look at it. Why are we not speeding up again? I don't understand why AFP doesn't want to just go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now we know what to expect, right? So we're coming up on Salzburg. There's going to probably be a red light. Don't know why. I guess someone else is taking our spot um, near the station. 
Now this train obviously doesn't just stop in Salzburg. This train goes, I don't know, somewhere else far, far away. But uh, the end of our scenario ends in Salzburg because the route ends in Salzburg. There's another freight train. Might be a 185. Have to watch the speed limits this time. So we're doing 110. Let's go still down to 100. We'll bring it back to 100 right now. We should stop slowing down. And then we'll be expecting a red. And it's probably going to uh, restrict us down to 85. You know, I'm not even sure the safety systems are actually c correctly activated after reloading like that. So we sh it should. Oh, oh, this is the sign. This is the yellow we ran through. We'll do 85 anyways. Be safe. There it is. So we did get the 1,000 hertz. All right. So after the station, we're stopping. We know this now. It's going to 45. Or red. Uh, what is the next train to the world route that I'm gonna upload? I don't know. I don't actually have any plans. Um, I I know I'll be making more train some world videos uh, and streams. I just don't have a plan of what that next video is gonna be yet. Oh, look at that. Look at that train on the left. That's different. All right, let's stop. Tell me, even an emergency brake would not have stopped this last time. I don't know what you're saying. Okay. All I do is stop and I get to go again. Cool. Alright, brakes release. Give a yellow, we'll go up to 40, it says. And let's see, we can reset our throttle. And go, where we go. Look at that long walkway. It goes like over the uh, river and then underneath something. I guess it goes to the station and to the other side. Next stop, Hals Salzburg, Habanov, or train station, in English. It's the only word I, I know. I've been doing enough train some routes in Germany. Oh crap. Uh, bro, I didn't even go anywhere. Not safe. You're not safe. Oh my god. I didn't even go anywhere. Shut up. Is he gonna repeat that until? How do I do it? Oh. Here we go. Go. Yeah, so it's flashing, which means I can only go 45, and we were set to 40. Yeah, like 40. Our brakes are still releasing. I'll tell you, man, this is where it gets tricky with the safety systems. Like, you gotta be on it. And I was not on it. <laughs> How we do it on time? Yeah, we'll, we'll do, um, I don't know if we'll do the whole route, but what I want to do is I want to uh, spawn the uh, ICE train in and uh, and run it back the other direction. I think that'd be fun. A Bonoff is main central railway station. Same thing. <laughs> but appreciate you for clearing that up. Now I know the difference. All right, we'll be uh, stopping on platform four. Look at this, Salzburg Station. Anybody in chat ever been here in real life? Is this accurate? 
I will kill the throttle with a coaster. We are... Oh, we're actually not even that late. We're like two minutes late. I'll take it. All right, on the brakes, nice and easy. I mean, we completed most of it. I still... I'm going to have to go back and run this route on my own again to get that satisfaction of finishing. <laughs> finishing the whole thing successfully. But, you know, we did it. We made it. We got here. We got here. All right, there it is. Let's go ahead and open up the right side doors. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final stop of the after or the morning actually. It's actually afternoon. It's twelve thirteen. You're in Salzburg. Main Central Station. Take a peek out. It's a cool building. That uh, apartment complex or something? University? I lock the doors. We will lock the doors. I love that Undertaker bong. <laughs> Every time the doors, it's like, who died, man? <laughs> Why did I choose that sound? So it actually did log my entire run um, with the with the loading the last save or whatever. But I we, we still know. That we did not complete that entire run. And so and for that reason. Uh -uh. So I'm going to return to free roam. Um, sadly we cannot take this train any farther than this. This is where the end of the route is. Um, but I'm going to hop out of the train. Uh, okay, I guess she's going to take over. And hold on. I got to go. This is my stop. And she has to keep running to. Uh, I think it's going to Graz. That's um, Austria, which I believe is, isn't that south of, uh, what's the name of the capital? Dang it. I can't remember the name of it. It's out there. Mickey Mike, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? I hope you're doing well, too, bro. Mickey Mickey Mike. There it is. So our service is done here for today. I don't know why it still, still says locked doors on the top. But yeah, this is the Salzburg station. Here in uh, Austria. Pretty cool. I always think that this, the train stations in Europe are just so much cooler than the ones in the US. Like, you guys actually care about how your uh, your train stations look. In the US, it's just like, eh, let's put, let's put a, a platform here and whatever, some light poles. Not even a restroom. Our airports are getting pretty cool, though. They get a, they're upgrading pretty nicely. Got some coffee. You can get a, a cookie or whatever those are. These whole, how does the price look like? Espresso, Zain, Piccolo, Gibraltar. I don't understand these prices. Is it four euros? Yeah, I think so. Newspaper. Mini paper. Okay. Mini papier. Is that how you say it in Austrian? Mini papier. Yeah, snacks? Bro, freaking the gummies, man. Yeah. That that looks like a beaver nugget. What is that? Y'all probably don't even know what a beaver nugget is. Beaver nugget is a Bucky's thing. If you ever been to Bucky's which is no longer just in Texas. It's now been branching out to a bunch of other places. I like these restaurants. This is cool. Though. They don't usually do this on uh, Train Sim World uh, stations. Usually it's just like a... It, it usually looks like this. <laughs> this is what most of the stuff inside terminals usually look like in Train Sim World. So it's nice to see them go a little bit extra and add some actual restaurants and things down here. I uh, can't go any farther than that. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh, Vienna, thank you, Vienna. Oh, we could hop on this train and go the other way too if we wanted to. What happened, peeps? Right, I don't want to get stuck in here. You got the beats by Dre's. Alright, let's get a train going. Spawn new train. I want an ICE. Give me some ICE. Is that not how you spell it? 
How do you spell it? What's it called? What's 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 the ICE train called, chat? What's the technical term for it? I don't know. Let's call it ICE. Alright, look away, kids. We're just gonna do that. There we go. I think I'll spawn it here. This track should be clear. Oh, look, another freight train's coming. What's up, Jose Romero? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good also. There is so much opportunity for just train spotting at this station. There's so much going on. BR 406, is that what it's called? 403, 406, thank you guys. Let's find that. BR 406. Is this it? Uh, let's do 16 cars. It's bomb. I can't put it there. Oh, yeah, I guess I could put it there. What direction are we going again? I don't remember. Which way is... Wait, okay. Uh, that's south. That's north. I want to go south or I want to go north? I want to go south. Okay. BR... 4 something? Uh, what's the 406? That sounds interesting. Spawn. So that's north. I want to go that way. So I'll spawn it that way. Get to this side of the station. Uh, Keith Vincent. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Hope you're doing well. This is Train Sim World 4. And it is available on PC, on Steam, and on uh, Xbox and PlayStation. It is a train simulator. So you get to the end of the platform, I'll spawn it way out of here. Actually, no, this is the wrong way. We came in this way. We want to go south. Crap, what am I thinking? <laughs> we want to go south. All right, he's out of here. What's up, AV rate? Sorry I'm missing some of you guys' chat. My chat is being really buggy today. Um, so I haven't been able to see as many of the messages as I want to see. So I do apologize if I have not responded to you. I'm not ignoring you on purpose. I'm going to put it here. Of course I can't because there's probably a train coming now. Alright, put it on the other side. Here? No? Where can I spawn it? Okay, I'll spawn it here. I'll spawn it here. Thanks. There it is. There it is. That's my train. So, I want to take this, day, take this guy back the other direction. Oh, there's people in here, too. Oh, close. Close. This is the one thing this route is missing is an ICE train and it's probably not realistic to have an ICE train running on this route and I understand I get that thank you so much uh Bopic for the subscription welcome to the blue team welcome aboard I hope you're having a great day so far and hope ready for a nice high speed run real quick that's what we're about to do oh boy I have to remember how to drive this of course all right we're not using safety systems this time <laughs> absolutely freaking not uh, is this the old one or the new one? This is the new, old one, isn't it? This is like the, the first original ICE that came to train somewhere else. Alright, high beams, reverser to forward. There's a throttle. This is our AFB controller. Yeah, I think this is the original train. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Uh, Panagraph should be up. Uh, uh oh, I think I just broke it. I think it was up. Is it up? Yeah, there's a panograph up in the back. Okay. That panograph is up. Uh, cab lights, no. Sand, no. What is this? Horn. And train brake. 
I think that's it. Uh, I guess we can go. I guess. Yeah, let's just see. All right, let's first uh, make a route. Thank you so much for the root. We'll click on ourselves. Thank you as well, Mr. SM Rail Productions, for being a gold member. We'll set path. And we're gonna take this train. I don't know where I'm gonna take it. I'm just I'm just gonna We're probably not gonna run this far. I'm just letting you guys know this right now. But for the sake of finding somewhere to go, we're just gonna make that path there. And uh straight to Rosenheim. 70 kilometers. Let's see if it just goes. Wait, is light green? Yep, light's green. Ladies and gentlemen, we're moving in the ICE. Bye bye. We might break it because this was never meant to happen on this on this uh on this route. This exact same horns last train. Oh, we have a double! Oh, baby! Oh, that's cool. I, I wonder- Oh my god, we're freaking just moving! <laughs> Bro, we hit a hundred like it was nothing! Oh my god, we're like... You would've thought we, would've, you would've thought we robbed the bank in Austria as fast as we're going. I mean, should we slow down? I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't really know if we need to. I guess I'll be nice for a little bit. We'll open it up here in a little bit. We'll, we'll open her up in a little bit. <laughs> uh, this is not technically a bullet train, no. Uh, but it is a high-speed train. Uh, she can go fast. She can go real fast. I'll show you. We're going to test it. Now that we've done our serious dr <clears throat> drive, we can now mess around. So it says a hundred, but as soon as we get to like here, I actually might do it here. Yeah, when we hit around this turn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking book it. Like screw the speed limit, man. I don't even care. I'm gonna just turn it off. I don't even need that. Y'all ready for some high speed? So this train can go up to 300, 350 kilometers an hour. I'm not sure how many uh, miles per hour that is, but let's go. Throttle forward. Send it. Alright, 100. This is a bad idea. This is gonna be a bad idea. Uh, Hot Tim Killer, welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, somebody just was telling me that the Block 2 is coming out tomorrow, so... I guess I... Depending on what time that is, um, I might stream it tomorrow. If, if it's later in the day, I may stream it later. Uh, in the week. Alright, doing 150. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to derail though. I want to actually, I have a red signal coming up. Uh oh. 167. 174. Alright, one of the, okay, we got all greens. We got green lights. It was red a second ago, but now it's green. Well, we freaking moving now. We are moving now. One, two hundred kilometers an hour as we speed past the Austrian border again, heading uh, to the west. Oh, don't hit this! Oh, don't hit this too hard! Don't hit this too hard! We're coming! Oh! We lead it! We lead it! That light's not for me. Alright, we gotta stop. Red signal's coming. Red signal's coming. Red signal's coming! Full app, full app! From what I remember from this train is it had really good brakes. Okay, now we got green. These passengers are gonna be sick after this ride. The fastest you've been on the IC is 250, Connor. Uh, I think the fastest I've been on the IC has been pretty darn close to 320, 350. I can't remember what route that was on. All right, brakes release. Throttle is max. We should be picking up speed. 
reset the throttle again. We should have a long straightaway coming up. Yep, fairly nice straight track for a little bit. A soft right turn, and then we've got a nice hard bend. We want to try to be careful there, though. Don't want to hit that at 100, at 300 kilometers an hour. All right, here we go. We're going so fast that the free camera, once we get up to speed, will not be able to keep up <laughs> anymore. And the reason that we're getting red signals is because we spawned this train in the middle of an existing timetable service. So, like, whenever they create these routes, they create them with... Oh, no, we're definitely going to bust that red. Hold on. They keep slowing us down. Man, I really want to open up the throttle right there. I'm trying to get as far as I can. Yep, red signal right up ahead. Now, now it's green. Yeah, I don't know if we can even get that fast. There's traffic along the way. But as I was saying, is that they create these timetables where, you know, certain trains have to be certain places at certain times. And it's going on for the entire, you know, length of the day. Yeah, here's our traffic right here. That's in front of us, and we're right here. So we're getting a red signals because he's on the same track until he goes to like a separate track or a bypass track we're going to continue to get rid of signals and it's not going to allow us to get as fast as we want unless we want to just ram into the back of them so we'll try again but yeah spawn this train right in the middle of an already existing timetable so there's already traffic along the route uh, we've added an additional service to the already existing busy route uh, which is going to cause us to probably get a heck of a lot of red signals along the way trying because the dispatch is going to be trying to keep us from running into other trains um, in in here. So right, let's reset the throttle again. Uh, what up, Duno? Uh, we are playing Train Sim World 4, my friend. Train Simulator 4. Yeah, I, I do like doing stuff like this from time to time. I don't do it often, um, but I like doing stuff like this from time to time. This train also has all the safety systems as well. It's down here in this box. Um, but, um, so yeah, imagine going super fast and having to pay attention to signals and stop on time at stations. It's just pretty challenging. Um, this screen works a little bit, not a whole lot, but there's things you can do in here for AFB if you want to set the AFB up. So it's pretty cool. No problem to know. Uh, when did I start loving trains? Ugh, good question. Um, uh, my earliest memory of trains was Thomas. <laughs> uh, so that's probably why. Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine, I love that cartoon. I love watching that show. I had the, the toys and all that stuff. Um, but I didn't really uh, get a chance to ride on any trains as a kid. I still, even as an adult now, I have still yet to really ride on a train. There's another train coming the other way. And we're going to slow down again for the next red signal. It might stay red. It might stay red. We'll see though but yeah that's my earliest memory of uh of uh learning about trains and, and enjoying you know trains i have a yellow coming up here hitting the uh, pzb button out of habit now look at it, you can see the mountains coming from this direction too hopefully it don't stop us all the way what up, light speed up to the stream? Hope you're doing well, man. Welcome aboard. But I also think this train is a sick looking train. And honestly, um, I think that Train Sim World made me enjoy trains even more. 
um, because until I started playing Train Sim World, I didn't play any train simulators. I didn't really know anything about trains. And so, uh, th oh, we gotta stop right, right now. Stop, 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 stop. Oh! Oh! Wait. Okay. Was that not the one? Are we good? <laughs> I guess we're good. Yeah, we definitely ran past it because of the freight train. Uh, no, this game is not PC only. It's on Xbox and PlayStation. Just search Train Sim World. Uh, I don't know if it's on the Xbox Game Pass anymore. I know it used to be. Uh, you guys can confirm in chat if it is now. It does. Honestly, this train does look like the uh, Airbus A350 of trains. Yeah, you're right about that. Very futuristic looking. Look at the back. Look back here. <laughs> Very futuristic looking. I want to stop at the station because uh, there's another red signal. They'll probably call it here. Um, because we're going to keep getting slowed down and stopped. I don't think we're going to be able to actually open up the the throttle like we want to um, and get up to 320 kil uh, kilometers an hour on this route with it being so busy. And we will stop right here. Open the doors up, take a quick little walk around. You guys all right? Need barf bags? They are not okay. Look at this guy's face. You are not okay. But pretty cool, man. Yeah, I, honestly, I I could see myself running the ICE on this route. Um, you know, screw realism, and if the ICE actually runs here or not, I don't I don't know. But um, it has all of the correct you know equipment, you know electrical and safety, you know, track size safety stuff um, to legitly run an ICE train here. And it, it probably happens rarely. Maybe not down the whole length of the route. Got a few collectibles here. But um, I'm sure it, I'm sure it happens from time to time. Bro, we out here just doing the Lord's work. <laughs> planting, planting pots and putting up route maps and all kind of stuff. So actually, honestly, 